G'day, g'day, I'm Chase or Blanger X, and today we're going to be reacting to Artificial Intelligence by Lemino. Uh, this is another documentary uh, about artificial intelligence, so I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. Artificial intelligence is a very new kind of thing that is being talked about. It obviously hasn't been around uh, for as long as a lot of other things in like the science world. Uh, but it's definitely something to be not afraid of, but, you know approach with apprehension and people view it differently but if this is your first video on my channel hello my name is chase oblank rex and uh yeah we are a growing community so we are almost at 250 subscribers so feel free to subscribe because this is completely free and it helps me out and we're going to be reacting to probably the great silence for the 250 sub special uh so yeah join the community subscribe it is completely free and you can unsubscribe in the future uh follow me on instagram at chyznz and join the discord links in the description leave a comment uh of your thoughts on the video and leave a like and all that jazz let's get into it artificial intelligence by let me know i'm excited man Whoa, let's go. I think this is an older one as well. One of his older documentaries. Still superbly edited though. And put together. Artificial intelligence is easily one of the most prevalent themes in all of science fiction. The idea that the machine could exhibit the same level of intelligence and sentience as a human being has captivated writers and audiences alike for decades from an ominous computer system in 2001, A Space Odyssey. Oh. Stanley Kubrick? Stanley Kubrick? Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid, I'm afraid I, I, I can't, can't do, do that. that. <laughs> yep, yep. To super I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Human androids in Westworld. Turn the other cheek. Oof. This captivating subgenre of science fiction has experienced a diverse range of depictions. But fiction has a habit of romanticizing certain aspects, such as the frequent inclusion of humanoid robots. Building a robot in pursuit of AI is a bit like constructing the chassis of a car before the internal combustion engine was even invented. <laughs> but I guess anthropomorphism is just an easier solution than expecting audiences to get emotionally attached to a few lines of code. Unless you're Joaquin Phoenix, of course, but that dude can do anything. In recent years, a few outspoken intellectuals, such as Elon Musk, Sam hey, Harris, Stephen Hawking, Nick Bostrom, to name a few, have voiced... I don't know the last guy, but I know the first three. ...genuine concerns for the rise of artificial intelligence, as brilliant minds across the globe are competing to retrace the hundreds of millions of years of evolution that resulted in the human brain. And why... Well you, an AI could be anything from Siri to A-L-E-X-A, I'm not going to say it because I have literally one over there. Um, and like Google Home and all these different devices. It's all artificial intelligence, just not, you know, humanoid. But it still is able to listen and learn, so we're closer than we think. While many experts have no doubts about machines' ability to achieve human-level intelligence at some point in the future, just as many believe it to be an impossibility. And also, sorry for not posting yesterday. It was my mom's birthday, so didn't get around to it. Perhaps it is. Perhaps we are incomprehensibly complex in such a way that we cannot do what nature has done to us. Then again, if random mutations can lead to intelligence, how hard can it be? In fact, even though evolution had a hell of a head start, machines have already surpassed us in some limited domains. Take the two popular board games Chess and Go. The best human Chess and Go players in the world have been defeated by artificial intelligence. Wow, that's shock. And I mean, that's shocking in itself. But even if you think about math equations, like a computer is always going to beat a human at like complex math equations and it's always going to be faster than us and you know definitions and all knowledge can be found within a computer so technically they outsmart, outsmart us in every sense of you know knowledge um except for like creative thinking but even creative thinking is just ideas that have already been thought of and just branching out they say that we our brains can't fathom a brand new idea and it's in its entirety um so, you know, it's it's a weird thing to think about artificial intelligence, so I don't know. Just think about that. 
No human player will ever again become the best at either of these two games. No matter how hard you try, even if you dedicate your entire life to become the best player you could possibly be, it will never be enough. And I think uh, I'm a football fan, uh, soccer if you're American, but, and there was this goalkeeper that was an AI and it would save like every shot that they took and it's so crazy and it was like it was it had like a humanoid form and it would like dive to save the ball and it was like better than most goalies so it's really freaky like will all sports in the future be played by ai because they're all better than humans like i mean they wouldn't sweat they wouldn't really get tired so it's a weird thing to think about luckily for us there's a lot more to the human condition than chess and go but is it that dubious to think that more general talents and abilities mm. could be rendered equally obsolete? Assuming it's possible, what happens when machines become more competent at performing any and all physical and mental labor? If AI becomes more competent in every regard, then what purpose or function would be left for us, us yeah. to serve? That's the thing, like, we have all these devices that make our lives easier, but if it got to the point where all the menial jobs were done by AI and pretty much all could be done by AI better than humans, then what's the point in us being here? What's our sense of purpose in the world? So it's, it's freaky, man. It's, I don't know if it's good or bad. It's kind of a bit of both. The music playing in the background of this video was entirely composed by a machine. Oh, man. He's going all out. <laughs> Here's another example. I think it'll be scary when AI can program other AI. Because if you think about it, all artificial intelligence is programmed by humans. Uh, so when it gets to the point where artificial intelligence can program other artificial intelligence to learn, uh, that'll be that'll be the the point of no return, I reckon. <laughs> How about some acoustic guitar? This is so weird. Sounds nice though, so guess he's good. Guess they're good at what they do. Drum and bass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it's crazy. Quite impressive, but yeah. then take a listen to this. a robot playing piano. This short and simple composition may sound rather unimpressive in comparison, but then consider this. This sound... is not the sound of a piano. The sound uh. itself, the waveform itself, was created by an AI in an effort to mimic the sound of a piano. Uh. Uh. What? That is so freaky. I thought I was gonna... Uh, and you could say, like, with piano playing, how there's certain feeling, like Richard Clayderman, right? Or, like, any other pianist. Um who can you know play and have emotion when they play like surely that could easily be replicated as well by an ai with just like the way they push down on the keys or something like that however you you know show feeling through playing an instrument i'm sure it could be replicated but that just messes my head that wasn't even piano i was just like oh just a robot playing piano but it was just mimicked like a lyre bird it's like ugh. machines have also begun tackling the human language by writing poems when I oh, this will be interesting. in dreams behold thy fairest shade, whose shade in dreams doth wake the sleeping morn, the daytime shadow of my love betrayed lends hideous night to dreaming's faded form. You know who would love this? That was beautiful. It was like Shakespearean. This <laughs> nonsensical mess of words that is inexplicably a real language. That's correct. The Danes. So poem. <laughs> yeah, he's from Sviedon. So, yeah, it's Danish. I don't know why I say Sweden like that all the time, but anyway. This may not be the best example, but news articles is a better one. Machine written content has become so 
commonplace and so good that you've likely read a few automated articles without even realizing hmm. it. Or even like with the predictive text on your phone, there's like autocorrect and there's also the three words that if you have an iPhone, there's like the three words that come up above the keyboard and you can just keep tapping the middle one, the middle one and it makes a sentence. A lot of the time it makes no sense at all in its entirety, but it's still predicting and making a sentence. <laughs> If you pause the video, see if you can discern which of these two paragraphs were written by Can't an AI. Say, so, unless he says them. The answer will be in the description. Now, this is one mm. of my favorites. It doesn't Many know. of you have likely played around with text-to-speech engines. Yep. You input some text and then a voice will read it aloud. Many of you have likely played around with text-to-speech engines. You input some text and then a voice will read it aloud. Please send help. Up until now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, didn't expect that. Yeah, even my voiceover on my phone, I've showed you guys this before. Um, but, you know, 11.56 a.m. Obviously, I have it really fast because I'm blind. I'm used to it. But, you know, and it's just like, just, it reads. It's pretty much, a it's not a text to speech, but it's it reads any text that I would type out. And it reads all that's displayed on my iPhone anyway. Now, this has been accomplished by having a voice actor read a long series of sentences and words. Yeah, I saw this in a Shane Dawson video. Um, you can, like, make your own, like, voice in, in AI. Like, if you say certain words, they can pick up on your accent and your um, mannerisms and stuff like that. And it can mold your voice into an AI and then you type out whatever you want. And it'll say it in your voice, or at least an AI version closest to what resembles your voice. So it's freaky as. It's getting really good nowadays. Then you splice the syllables into tiny samples before attempting to stitch and morph them back together. Artificial intelligence can not only do this in seconds, but can also produce a more natural sounding speech. Let's take a listen. The Blue Lagoon is a 1980 American romance and adventure film directed by Randall Kleiser. The Blue Lagoon is a 1980 American romance and adventure film directed by Randall Kleiser. Aspects of the Sublime in English Poetry and Painting, 1770 to 1850. Aspects of the Sublime in English Poetry and Painting, 1770 to 1850. It can also produce human-like gibberish. Sudden. It was better to say I still do mind, but I didn't put any sits out of each other the fact that I got to the gate school. I'm pre I'm oh, that's so cursed. Is that is that making anyone else uncomfortable? You can hear like the like the lip smacks. Hear that again, bro. That was weird. Dear man, but I didn't put any sits out of Sounds like she's speaking Swedish, like English. Yeah. Jared did the fact that I got to the gate school. I'm that bit. That oh, I hated that. That makes me want to jump off a building. Flash. Find me a neck out. Break, so again, like then, the last house is a phone. That's like, is it today? Sounds hard, like, hey, right, hey, right, hey, right, hey. It's like, what? So, how does it work? Well, as you can imagine, it's complicated, and that's a severe understatement, but <laughs> let's use an analogy. Think of a human infant. An mm. infant doesn't really know or comprehend anything. It's just an oblivious sack of meat that occasionally moves around. <laughs> a sack of hello, little sack of meat. And then screams a lot. <laughs> no. Nevertheless, the Please. human brain must be doing something, right? I mean, it's not dead, so what's happening? Well, mm. for the most part, the brain will be searching for patterns, systematically attempting to identify recurring events in an effort to make sense of the world. Colorful toys equals fun. Vegetables not so fun. If mommy and daddy can speak, maybe I can speak. If hmm. they can walk around on two feet, maybe I can too. Just wait for your kneecaps to develop and then you can. <laughs> A few years of this repetitive- Fun fact, that's actually why babies can't walk, because their kneecaps haven't developed, their bone hasn't like hardened enough for them to support their body weight. The ...learning process and we can go from this to this, and even this. And unfortunately, this, you don't want that. This can't even say so. Lost that joke. It's essentially what machine learning is all about. You create a simple mathematical model of the human brain and then you feed it a bunch of information. This artificial neural network will then attempt to make sense of this information by learning from past mistakes and imitation. That's what Neuralink did. So Elon Musk was saying, I think, on the Joe Rogan experience that your computer is so much like smarter than you with all its information so if you wire it or somehow 
the Neuralink device, which is his, you know, Neuralink, uh, his company, neural chip into his brain, wire it, then you have all the information that the computer has. It's like, uh, it's weird. So we would become exponentially smarter, but at what cost, you know? The result is this natural evolution that no human could ever manually program. And there's really no reason why this system could not be scaled up to human levels and beyond. A limiting factor of the human brain is that it has to fit inside a cranium. An artificial brain could be the size of a building or larger still. An AI could also operate at the speed of light as well as improve upon itself. In essence, it could teach itself how to learn new things and in uh, doing so would eliminate the need for a human at the controls. No, 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 no. That's what we don't want. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know about you, but the fact that this is even theoretically possible makes me a bit worried for the yeah, future. Yeah, exactly. There is a genuine cause for concern as lost in this idealistic quest for improvement is the function of humanity itself. If we render the species incompetent, what's to prevent artificial intelligence from recognizing that incompetence and taking control? Because mm. how do we control something that is more intelligent than us? Well, they don't have emotion. That's the thing. So they're not going to be like, please don't kill me. It's like, no, I don't care. I want to be the ruler of the earth. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> they don't, they won't care. they don't have emotion that's something we have i mean maybe you could program emotion but emotion can't in my eyes emotion can't be programmed man like i don't know that's something they would lack but they just have crazy intellect it would be like a colony of ants attempting to control even a single person it just isn't believable and mm. elaborating upon that analogy think about the way we treat ants most of us don't have oh I, I think i've mentioned this analysis uh, sorry analogy in uh, one of my videos before probably the alien one some deep hatred for ants but if they are ever in the way of something that we want to accomplish we could not care less about their existence and even if we did care how would we explain to them that they need to move because we want to construct a building or something attempt to explain to the millions of animals living in the jungle the geopolitical and socio-economical reasons for why we continue to destroy their home <laughs> it's impossible that made they it real simply <laughs> lack the intelligence to understand and that is what so many are concerned about that we wasn't the same analogy never mind would lack the intelligence to keep up so this concern for ai has nothing to do with malevolence it's simply a fear of losing control then there's the issue of sentience and cognition, which are entirely different beasts altogether. <sighs> but if we assume that super intelligence is possible, how long until that happens? It may be sooner than you think, as most estimations seem to land in between three to six decades. Oh, so, that's in my lifetime. Within this century. But I mean, it's just estimations, so who knows? No one can predict the future. We don't know, to be honest. I seriously hope well, it would be like dethroning a lion as king of the jungle you know it's like we are the most superior and ruling creatures on this planet so if we aren't it's very weird so it would be a very strange feeling and way of living they're wrong though because it'd be so much more convenient if we could just leave this impending doom of humanity to our children and just reap the benefits in the meantime oh <laughs> of course pretty selfish is that it is that it damn i thought it would go for longer hmm well <laughs> that was artificial intelligence by lemino uh i thought it would go for a little longer but i guess not i think this is probably on the shorter side of his documentaries i think it was only like 11 minutes or so um, but that was Artificial Intelligence by Limino. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on Artificial Intelligence. Uh, and if you have something like Siri or Google Home or ALEXA um, in your house, because or, or let me know 
your th- thoughts on artificial intelligence and if it's too little too late or what we can do or just your general opinion on the topic because you know we com- we talk in the comments all the time so uh, it'd be really cool for you guys to you know t- like join in also we are also at 250 subscribers we're almost there so if you uh, want to subscribe and this is your first video of mine then feel free to subscribe we're almost there and we will react to the- some of the most requested documentaries from let me know uh in the future and i have subscribed to a few new channels that you guys have suggested in the comments uh so look out for those type of videos in the future that i'll be reacting to i've been chase of blangari x thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video peace out